Okay, to learn how to create web analytics dashboard, to me a Python programming language in a Streamlit library. Streamlit in library ya Python kufanya data science au machine learning. Lo to tumia library ya Python na ito PG Walker. Ambola tumika kuonyesha visualization graphs kwa just ku click na ku drag. For example, hapa na chat 1, hii ni just chat 2, hii ni chat 3, hii ni just pivot table, cross tabulation table, hii ni chat number 5, okay? So, naza nga click new, after then, kuja nga tengeneza a new chart. So, ntakuja hapa katika upanda left side, hizi ni field list, ni qualitative data, na hizi ni quantitative data. So, ntakuja kupick hii hapa, for example, region, nitai click, nitai drop hapa katika x-axis, okay? Then, nitakuja kuchukua hii hapa quantitative data, for example, quantity, then nitakuja kuhiruwa hapa katika y-axis, okay? So, na ime, ime generate graph. Na, nitaka kuja siku remove, nitaja siku yondua, for example, region, nitaiondoa katika field list okay then naweza nikapick another field okay so for example now naweza nikapick product nikaipiki katika x axis so naona nitengeneza graph okay so naweza nikaiformat graphs nikaja hapa nikabonyeza hii hapo gear icon then nika expand my graph for example now naweza nikaset width okay nikaset na height okay so now hapa naweza nikaja nika transpose nikaja nikabonyeza hii button ya transpose so niki click okay so naona nika transpose so naweza kabonyeza hii hapa siri then ni click katika car kwa ajili ya kutengeneza region. So tunaona imetengeneza region, okay? Okay, so nikija katika upande huu hapa wa data, ni click hii data icon. Okay, so utakuta hizi hapa ni just like a table. Hii ni kama table inaonyesha data set ambazo ni hizi hapa zipo kwenye Microsoft Excel. So we have a column ambayo ni order date, region, siri, category and product, quantity, unit price and so on. Hii ni Microsoft Excel. So data hizo ndo hizi hapa zinazoje kuonekana hapa order date, region, siri, category, product, and so on. Okay, so in visualization, na hizo fields, na hizi hapa, order date, region, siri, category, hizi ni just qualitative, na hizi ni quantitative data. Okay. Okay, so what is PG Walker? PG Walker ni library ya Python kwa jili ya kuvisualize what data kwa just kukrige na kudrop bila kuandika code. So, hakuna code yote. Okay, so hii ni PG Walker documentation. Of course, hii ni site ya canaries, ambayo ni hii hapo, okay. So, hii inatumika kwa jivya kufanya data exploration. Asa pale mbapo una data zako, unataka kufanya analysis kwa kutumia streamlate, okay. Okay, so hii ndo project yetu ambayo tunanda kui just kui design. So, inatumia few lines. So, kwa jangala kwa anga ya hapa, kuna lines ngapi, only 80 lines. So, 80 lines, kwa jangala kwa jangala kwa hii hapa, output kama nevonekana. So now hapa naweza nika export. Naweza nika export. So nikija hapa nita just kubonyeza hii hapa export. Okay. So nika click export. Zena kanyo kuchagua format. Export uh, hii graph as a PNG or SPG. So naweza kachagua hii hapa as a PNG. So nika click just to download PNG hii hapa. Okay. So now I can click. Okay. So ita ifungua hii PNG. Okay. Na ina load my image. Na image yangu ni hii imesha download. Okay. So, naweza nika export my uh, pivot table. So, nikija hapa katika chart number 4. For example, so na wanda kubonyeza hapa uh, export. Export as a CSV. So, kija kuangalia hapa export as a CSV. So, na wani kiklik. Ok, so na wame create CSV. So, na wani kiklik na kuopen. Ita just kuonyesha hii cross tabulation table. Ok, so how to implement? Ku implement, takuja hapa. Kwenye my GitHub repository. Ya na wanda kubonyeza hapa source code. So, takuja hapa code, takuja download is it. Okay, so now I download. After downloading now, kuja katika hii site ya canaries, kuja katika hii semi and kwa docs, so nita click docs, okay. So nita click docs kwa hivya documentation, kuangalia PG Walker vipi ina kuwa implemented. After then, nita kubonyeza hii hapa miandi kwa PG Walker, so nita click PG Walker. Okay, so now PG Walker hii hapa, misha open, okay. So kina chufata so now is installation, so nita click hapa pande wa installation. Kwa jili ya kufanya installation. So now click it. Ok. So now you can see. Kuna hii hapa command. Pip install PG Walker. Ok. So now copy it. So njio katika desktop start button. And then write CMD. Kwa jili ya kufungua command prompt. Then try click command prompt. Ok. After then. Kwa jili ya paste hii command. Hii hapa. To paste hapa. Pip install PG Walker. After then. Kwa jili ya enter. So kwa jili ya kufanya installation. Kwa jili ya requirements. Zimekua specified. Ok. Kwa jili ya kufanya installation. So. Kwa jili ya kufanya installation. After then, kwa uja hapa katika hii, misema ta download source code. After downloading, na uja ku open source code. For example, now, na open source code yambani me download yambani hii. So, now open. 
source code okay then after opening now so now here hapa nimesha open so utanzip okay so na click hapo na drop ili ya kuanzip okay okay so nimesha unzip tayari after then ita just kudabu click okay kwenye hii file nitua requirements.txt na hii hapa food sales as a csv data source okay open requirements okay open requirements.txt Okay, so now open requirements.txt So you can see, he's here by just a library by 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 installation Okay, so now we can see how install these requirements We can see here in directory in load and load At the source code, we can click here when you have address bar So I just write a cmd We can click enter Then we can click command when you have installation requirements.txt So we can click pip install minus r then uh, requirements okay requirements the txt okay so now requirements the txt i'm going to be from web in a library so and i just click here okay okay after clicking okay now you can see in a download is a dependence so of course me requirements is not satisfied so i will initial download is out okay after then click for the just start to create a project so under kuja hapa kwenye uh, sorry itakuja hapa kwenye downloads okay so nitatengeneza a new directory hapo ta right click then ta choose a new new folder folder name for example my project okay after then ta double click kwa ile ku open my project then nitafungua a uh, visual studio code kwenye hii my project so nitakuja kwenye address bar ta just click ta just issue cmd ta andika cmd kufungua command prompt then ndo ndika code space dot kwa slash ndika click ok kwa jili ya kufungua visual studio code ok so visual studio code isha, isha open ok so nda kuja hapa nda create a new file nda click your new file then my file name is main dot the py then nda click enter ok so hapa kina chofata ni kuja siku import library ok so kuja kwa angalia katika source code ambazoni hizi so kuja katika uh, my project kudi back kwenye downloads niki open folder mbao tumi download hii hapa ni main as a source code so nitafungua notepad plus plus ok hiyo main nita just kui drop wapa ok so main hii hapa nimesha drop ok so now you can see import is simulate so just copy importation ok so now after then come to a project then paste ok ok so hapa tumi just kui import is simulate as a st import panda as a spd and import is simulate components version 1 as components and import pg worker as PYG, okay? Then, kuja ku copy here pa code, kuja ku set page config, okay? So now, copy it, easy lines, then it comes to paste hapo, okay? Okay, so as you see hapa, it may set page, page iwe na, iwe wide, yeah, okay? And isn't page icon, and here ni just a title, and hapa tume load the data set, okay? Our data set is food sales, dot x, l, o, s, x, and sheet name is the food cells so now our data set nikija hapa katika downloaded zip ok so now you have to copy our data set and bound food cells that I copy nita kuja katika our project our project na itua my project double click then ita paste here for food cells our data source ok food cells and nikaiti click in for extension kuja kwa ngrafa extension dot x l o s x c o c s v ok Iyo ni file extension. So tume load data set ambao ni hii. Foodie sales dot x l o x x. Then sheet name is foodie sales. So nkeja hapa kujia wangalia sheet name hii hapa. Sheet name ni foodie sales. Ok. So after then kujia copy chikipande. Ok. So now copy it and come to paste. Ok. Ok. So now you can see his hapa ni just a source code. So undo. Ok, then paste again, continue, ok, good. So now after loading data sets, now tunakuja kutumia beauty function ya pyg, ok, dot walk. Tumi call walk object, then tukapitisha our data frame, our data frame is df, then it return html equal to true and dark dark is our theme, ok, so theme is dark. So kutaka we write, just put the theme to write, then we just put a our what PG, uh, PYG worker kwa kutumia simulate components so now save changes 
in come to run and output so kwa sababu natumia terminal nita just ku click new terminal so hapa chini nita just run my project katika terminal okay okay so kuna ku run kwa namna mbili kuna ku run kupitia uh, hapa my, my project sinuza ku run hapa kandika stream it run main.py okay call the same print a click enter oh naweza kandika hapa stream it run main.py the same so then na click enter it execute okay so a project ina run ambayo ni hii hapa okay so a project ina run so kuja kuangalia na hapa nimeka just color equal to right so kuja kuangalia a project ni hii hapa apg worker as a text then data ni hizi hapa okay so visualization yetu ni hii so now huu uh, upande wa kushoto sana i can pick what product nikaweka katika x and for example na unit price ngaweka katika y okay you can see me generate what you graph then ka click gear icon then uh, for example ngaweka fix d afu nika just kuja ku uh, expand hapa kwa hiyo tutatoa expand kija ku click transpose na transpose so category nika katika color so na change color and so on and so on okay so na wanatufanya uje hapa katika hii hapa uh, icon na uje kuchagua settings then uje kuchagua use a uh, hii hapa system settings na chagua dark. So mchagua dark naona hapa imekuwa dark afu kule imebaki hapa imebaki imekuwa white kule nyuma imekuwa dark. Okay so you data visualization. Okay. So nataka nichague dark 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 for all. Okay so ndakuja hapa kwenye hii a uh, dark dark iko to again dark iko to dark. Okay now some changes come to refresh and output. Okay so you can see dark na hapa katika hii canvas of course na yenyewe imekuwa dark okay so now dark to dark so now hii ni our data set hii ni visualization so now i can click on category or for example product so i click product and i click a uh, unit price and tunaona vitengeneza graph so ni click gear icon so ni naweza ka expand width and height ni ka transpose au naweza ka choose chart type for example ni ka choose line so ka choose line na kwa namna hii okay okay so ni ka click new anaza chart inga chagua x axis equal to category and y equal to number of rows then nikaja hapa just nikachagua table so imetengeneza cross tabulation so nika click new uh, for example nika click again product and hapa nika click what total price or you quantity okay okay after then nikaja nika click hii hapa gear icon okay then nika chagua fix then nikaja nika expand then nikaja nika change the bag uh, nika change chart type nika chagua like uh, scatter plots you can see or nika chagua uh, area or nika chagua line or nika chagua bar nika transpose or nika yacha hivi video kwa namna hii okay kwenye category kaja nika click nika drop katika color okay naona nimetokea category na huku ni just region so na hiyo chart 1 chart 2 yeah, chart 3 okay you can see na hii hapa ni data so naona naweza nika export ikija hapa ndio kabonyeza export ya PNG au SVG. Okay, hawa naweza ka export code. Code naweza kachagua format, for example, a person or JSON format. Hizi ni JSON format. Okay. JSON format hizo. Okay. 